Hi, I'm Leif from 824 Workshop. Today I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of replacing the oil pressure sensor in this 2015 Jeep Cherokee with a 2.4 engine. This process will pretty much be the same for a Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass, or Jeep Renegade with a 2.4 engine. Tools and parts you will need. A new oil pressure sensor, a 10mm socket and wrench, an oil pressure socket, a wrench extensions, flathead screwdriver, and a torque wrench. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the scan tool. It plugs into this port found under the steering wheel next to the hood release. Then turn the car on so all the lights come on, but do not start the engine. As you can see the check engine light, ABS, brake light, and traction control lights are all on. So I'm going to run a diagnostic check on this vehicle. I highly recommend the scan tool I'm using here. It's well worth the investment and saves you a lot of time and money. You can access every computer in your car, read codes, delete codes, and see live data. With today's vehicles, it's a must have. After this vehicle is complete, it shows this vehicle has a rear right hand side ABS sensor not functioning correctly in code P0520, which is the oil pressure sensor. In this video, we are going to focus on fixing that code. The three most important tools you can have on replacing this sensor is a ratchet, an oil pressure socket which looks like this, and a thin flathead screwdriver, and you will see why the flathead screwdriver makes it easier in a second. Now your oil pressure sensor is located on the passenger side of the car towards the bottom of the motor right under the water pump. So let's get under the vehicle. First thing you need to do is remove the protective guard. The guard is held on by 10mm screws so you need your 10mm socket and wrench and take out the series of screws all the way around the guard until you can completely remove it from under the vehicle. Once the guard is removed, you will find the oil pressure sensor right above the passenger side CV axle or just below the water pump. First thing to do is check the wiring. Make sure all the wires look good. Make sure the connectors look good and everything is intact. If all the wiring looks fine, we can continue with removing the sensor itself. This plug has a safety pin, this red tab. This is where the flathead screwdriver comes into play. Place the head of the screwdriver on the ledge of the red tab and push it to the side, allowing you to squeeze or press down on the connector, allowing you to slide it off. After the sensor is disconnected, use your oil pressure socket, an extension, and a wrench to remove the sensor from the motor. Once loosened, you can easily spin this out by hand. Do know that a small amount of oil will spill out when the sensor is removed. Now that the sensor is removed, now place your new sensor into the motor. Always start this by hand. You do not want to cross thread this or cause damage to the motor, so always start it by hand. Once you know you have it started correctly, use your oil pressure socket, an extension, and a torque wrench to tighten it down. Make sure to keep it as straight as possible. You do not want to break the plastic connector off of your new sensor. 
the torque spec on this is 35 foot pounds. Take the plastic connector and push it onto the oil pressure sensor. You will hear it clip in. Again, take the flathead screwdriver if needed and push the red safety pin back in as well. Lastly, take the shield that was removed and reinstall. Make sure to put all 10mm screws back in to make sure the shield is held up correctly. Once back in the car, use the code reader to remove the code P0520 before starting the vehicle. Once the code is removed, turn off the vehicle and then start the engine. As you can see, the check engine light is now gone. I hope this video helped you out. Again, I'm Leif from 824 Workshop. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share on your social media platforms to help the channel grow. Thank you.